The Untold Story of Ephraim's Relief Society Granary Ephraim, Utah became a town in 1872, and soon the people built two important buildings. The first was this mercantile, which operated as a co-op association. The second was a large granary next door. It stored donations that funded their church and fed those in need. The two buildings were beautifully constructed of oolitic limestone. The granary had a utilitarian function, but was large and well-built. Why did they go to so much trouble? Brigham Young had asked church members to store grain as insurance against famine. But the idea fell flat for many years until he hatched a plan. He asked the women. Women of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints formed a charitable organization. They called themselves the Relief Society, and General Secretary Emmeline B. Wells took up the grain cause. She used her voice as editor of the Woman's Exponent to rally support. Utah women gleaned the fields, and the Ephraim Relief Society worked with gusto. Sarah Peterson was the Ephraim Relief Society president, and she'd had an experience earlier that sheds light on her motivations. Her husband, Knut Peterson, had been on an overseas mission for the church for three years. Sarah had to do everything at home, including plowing the fields herself. One spring, she planted her wheat a little later and a little deeper than the men's. Their wheat came up lush and green. Then the grasshoppers swarmed. They ate every sprout, and the entire settlement seed was just gone. But Sarah's wheat came up later. It fed the whole settlement that winter. She kept a vial of that wheat her entire life. Her husband was buried with that jar. People called it salvation wheat. Under Sarah Peterson's leadership, the women of Ephraim stored more than 200,000 pounds of wheat in their granary. In lean years, the Relief Society loaned seed to the men, and they collected it with interest in the fall. Ephraim women owned title to their granary, and also the second floor of the co-op as their meeting hall. This gave them a public presence on Main Street. At Relief Society headquarters in Salt Lake City, it took until 1956 for the women to get their own building. After turn of the century, women began collecting more cash than goods, and in 1915, the Ephraim Relief Society sold its building to a roller mill. In the years following World War II, the mill closed, and this once proud building became an eyesore. Bulldozers arrived on site, but a few brave citizens stopped them. It took another decade to raise funds for restoration. Many say the turning point was when Kathy Peterson painted this watercolor. She showed the buildings not as they were, but as they should be. Now others could see. Nearly every Utah town had a Relief Society granary, but Ephraim's may have been the finest. Today, only nine remain. This historic building is now home to Granary Arts, a nonprofit art center. Original King trusses support the expansive interior, perfect for a gallery. Granary Arts welcomes students, educators, and world-class artists. Grain is still a symbol of the Relief Society. It is a reminder of what women can do. Granary Arts co-founder Amy Jorgensen echoes this spirit, saying, Create the community you want to be part of. Produced and co-sponsored by Evalog.life. Tell your story. Granary Arts receives generous support from these organizations.